Ah, Dragon Trail. In reverse, one of the most chaotic and hardest races there is, but perhaps most known for none other than the Death Chicane itself. Sakawa survived the legendary chicane in this video and will be joined by millions of other victims who crashed the Death Chicane. So stick around to see how these two crazy races pan out and stick until the end for some bonus clips. Spoiler, it's Death Chicane related. Enjoy the video. So for the first race then we're starting in third place. Behind us we have the Italian driver Michel Ruti. Remember him for later, more on him later. But more importantly, not even in the top 8 is a driver called URL Max. So keep an eye out for him in the leaderboard because I'm not sure where he's starting but I believe he was outside the top 10. So remember him for later. As we go through the first corner on the exit I make a massive mistake. Well, small mistake I guess but it cost me a lot. As I go wide and lose 2 positions. Uh, Michel Ruti now in 3rd place and ahead of us we have the uh, Mercedes driver there, the British driver. I suppose we'll just call him Lewis Hamilton or something, I don't know. Behind us we have a Belgium, who is getting really close, if you look at the radar, getting really close, I believe he's in a Corvette. Is he going to be close enough for a move? No, not quite. This is on this very weird corner here. It's a bit of a weird corner. So, ahead of us then we have the Merc British driver. And skipping forward just a little bit, just after the fast chicane on the hairpin, you can see the Italian there goes off the track and hits the wall. And that's a free position for me, thank you very much, Mr. Italian guy. And there's actually quite a gap now between the Mark driver, but a little bit later in lap 2, pretty much the same where we left off on the hairpin, we've managed to catch him up pretty quickly. However, make a small mistake on the exit, and if you look in the top in the left hand side there on the leaderboard, there he is, and P5 is URL Max, right behind us, about a second and a half behind us, and the gap's closing quickly. Uh, ahead of us then we have the two drivers there, Michelle Rudy, not the cleanest of drivers, <laughs> defending anyway, clearly not the best defending driver in the world. And on the exit of the first, well I guess second, depends if you count the kink as a corner there, but on the exit of the second corner, Michel Ruti is ahead and the Mark driver there trying to go for a move through the death chicane. Obviously never gonna work, should, probably should never have went for it in the first place. Hits the inside wall, hits the other wall and hits the outside wall. Free position for me, thank you very much. And URL Max now, MP5, so there's a bit of a one place gap between us. However, on the exit of this corner, it's a very weird corner. I make a mistake, and there he is. Max, URL Max, goes ahead of us, as and we drop down to fifth place. So this is where the, I should say, squabble with URL Max starts to happen. So as we go through this fast chicane here, he's having a battle with the Mark driver, Michelle Ruti, off in second place, about maybe three seconds ahead of me. And as we go through this hairpin there, he's trying to go for a move around the outside, he's going to try and go for the cutback, massive oversteer there on the exit, and he's going to lose a bit, a lot of time to him, and it's going to allow me to go right on his tail. And should I go for a move through this first final chicane here, I try to go for a move, but he blocks it off at the last second, and I'm forced to back away, I think there was even a tap from behind as he moves under braking. So it's taken, stay in the slipstream, maybe go for a move on the first corner. You can see just tucking in the slipstream as much as possible, pulling over to the right hand side, which is going to be the inside line for the small kink and the outside line for the first hairpin. And there's actually a bit of contact there. Through here, you can see just ran me wide. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but based on later evidence, more on that later, like I said, I don't think he did. But at that point, I thought he did it on purpose. And to be honest, I didn't think of him as the cleanest of drivers after that and after what was happening ahead of us. So as we go through the dash chicane, we're, he's going to make a small mistake, he's going to touch the wall on the exit, and he's going to allow me to get really close on the hairpin, I think that's the hairpin, I don't know, left hander here. You can see he just blocked, blocked it off, quite a late defensive move, he was kind of blocking it off under braking, and I was on the inside line so I couldn't really move to the outside line, it was a bit too late for that. And I had momentum, and the gap just barely opened up and I went through, and I got the move down, so up finished for fourth place until the end not much happened however after the race this is where we had the small squabble here so he said next time clean please he was talking to me and I told me you pushed me wide look who's talking and he said I defended the inside and you pushed me wide I'm like yeah sure by pushing me off he defended the inside and at that point I was actually pretty mad after what happened there at him especially that he told me clean next time please but I've actually been in his lobby 
a few times afterwards and turns out it was actually a really good driver really quick one as well so kind of unfairly blamed him i just i thought he was a dirty driver turns out he actually was a very nice guy and i think he also watched the replay afterwards because he apologized next time i saw him so yeah sorry max if you're watching this but you're probably not anyway right so for the second race then we're starting in fifth place surprise surprise as always it's like the new normal for this channel fifth place all the way uh, ahead of us we have the belgium behind us we have a span pa spanish driver and remember that remember the spanish driver for later as we go through the first corner then spanish driver right behind me i make a bit of a mistake on the exit just go a little bit wide spanish driver in the nissan there gets ahead of me and if you look at p8 now there's a russian driver called tian tishka or something like that uh, remember him for later <laughs> So as we go through the dash chicane, any deaths, not quiet, there's the Belgium there who's ghosted and this uh, Nissan hit the wall, nothing too major however, as we go through this left hander or chicane, I think I'm just going to call it a chicane for the rest of the video, or not chicane, sorry, hairpin, not sure what it actually counts as, anyway, stay in the slipstream of the Nissan, driver behind us already out of our slipstream, so we should be safe from him, and as we go through this fast chicane, very difficult to get right, you can see I'm slightly off slightly off the line actually slightly cut the corner there as well uh, but yeah I do get a good exit and as we go through the hairpin we're definitely not close enough for a move however there's gonna be a bit of a squabble between the Nissan there and the Belgium who's had a bit of an oversteer I think that's oversteer on the exit and it's right behind the Nissan then as we go into the chicane is it gonna be close enough for a move not quite but let's at least see if we can line him up for a move or for the slipstream so we can make a move on the second corner or the hairpin so you can see stay in the slipstream as much as possible even tr getting really close here moving over to the inside line but he moves over very late under braking and i don't quite go to the left enough and we go into his back and it pushes the belgium i believe that was the belgium off the track as well and we even have a bit of a slide there and the british there nearly goes into our back as you go to the dash again once again make sure we don't go side by side with the british or else it's not gonna end well for any of us uh, taking it nice and clean once again no deaths just yet <laughs> behind us the British still there T and Tishka up in seventh place and I'm back into fifth place I guess and as we go through the hairpin here make a bit of a mistake on the entrance they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would lose two positions there on the exit think because we got a terrible exit and ahead of us we have T and Tishka there who's going for a very questionable move on the fast chicane even though it is as dangerous as it is and move for a move there probably not the best idea but he does somehow make it work with some pushing and aggression and he goes up into p5 behind us the spaniard then and ahead of us is the british guy who's going for a move down the inside of the antishka there doesn't quite make it work the antishka blocks him off and very aggressive defense defending from the antishka i'm just gonna call him tishka for the rest of the video and as we go into the chicane here, the final chicane, not quite, he's not going to be able to go for a move just yet. However, if we can get a better exit, that would be ideal. And he does make a mistake, and look at just how much of a hoover speed we have with the slipstream and the speed of the Supra on the straight line, right behind him. And as we go through the first corner, is it gonna be, are we going to be able to go for the move? Not quite. He broke us slightly, and we even drifted there on the apex of the corner, slightly missed the apex. On the exit though we don't lose too many we don't lose a position to the spaniard and as we go into the death chicane this time is there going to be any deaths this time still lap three out of four so there's still plenty of opportunities for crashes uh british there all over the line completely missed the <laughs> racing line through there very slow through there get really close however we're gonna have to defend from the spaniard there he breaks very late out breaks himself and over goes pretty wide on the exit off the track and yeah, we, 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 it doesn't overtake us, but we do lose a lot of time to the British ahead of us, so still in P7 currently. Skipping forward to the start of lap 4, you can see Tishka as well as the Spaniard, they're going side by side on the exit. Tishka massive oversteer on the exit, and he drops all the way down to P6. And as we go through the death chicane, as you can imagine, considering there's a battle, it's not going to end well for any of them. As the Spaniard there hits the inside wall, it looks like, and spins out his car. And off we go, so let's have an effing chat for the Spaniard there, our fallen driver, fellow driver, and anyway on the hairpin here, Dishka very close to the driver behind, and as we go through the straight here onto the fast chicane, 
the British just kind of gives the Russian here a uh, bit of a tap in the entrance, pushes him off the track, and free position for me up into P5. And it's going to stay in P5 all the way until the end of the race. And yeah, we just finished in P5. We're not able to overtake him, but it is what it is. Could have been better, but we managed to make the most out of what we had there. Wait, what's that? Do you want to see more crashes with that chicken? Well, okay then. So for the first one here, I'm actually in fourth place at the moment. Ahead of me had the Spaniard and the Italian. The Italian makes a massive oversteer mistake, goes into the side of the Spaniard. I try to avoid them, but instead I go into the back of the, Ita of the Spaniard and I hit the barriers and I start losing positions. And there's Steen and Tishka there in sixth place. Same guy we were fighting. I've been in his lobby a lot of times. Anyway, behind me I have the Finnish now who wants to go side by side with me, try to make a move at the dash chicane. And I tried to leave him space, but I just go off the track because it's pretty much impossible here to go side by side safely. And Tien Tishka also makes a mistake and drops all the way down to last. So next up then we have five of us fighting for the lead. Make that four as one guy there goes off the track. So I'm going side by side with the Russian, but I back out of it obviously because we have the dash chicane up next. And also this German here goes ahead of me because once again I back out of it. They want to go side by side. Russian and the other German, they all go on side by side and... As you can imagine, it doesn't go well for either of them. Next lap, I'm going side by side with the Russian again, basically deja vu. This time we have the Austrian behind, who I'm going to back out of the Russian. Do not end up like he did last time. And the, uh, the Austrian, he says that he wants to go side by side with me. And as you can imagine, it doesn't end well for me. And I drop all the way down to last and it's pretty much race over. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.